So, Bertie Ballard, um, this will be your, your second year in the British Open main draw. How are you feeling going into the tournament? Really excited, feeling a lot less nervous than I did last year because I've done it before. Um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good, hopefully. Got a good first round. Uh, how's the game progressing? How's your practice been going? It's been going really well. I was in Chicago for a week hitting with Steve a lot. I spent the summer in America. Um, I was in New York, Philly and Chicago as well. So I've been getting a lot of different coaches. Um, taking different bits from different people, um, really thinking about my game and like trying to be quite proactive about changing bits of it. So, um, so yeah, no, I feel, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've hit the ball any better than I am now. So yeah, no, I'm feeling good. The first round singles match against Lewis Williams. Um, uh, he went to five sets at Trent and Henry recently. Um, that must give you a bit of confidence going into the match. Yeah. Um, I try not to think too much about that, to be honest. I think Henry played really well. It's a completely different court. Um, like, funny things happened. He also played, he also pushed Leon Smart um, quite far, and he's like nine or eight in the world the next round. So um, I know he's a really good player. It's a match I really wanted to play because I think our styles hopefully match up well. Huge opportunity for me. Um, but yeah, when I, you know, you just got to beat who's in front of you. I won't be thinking too much about what, about how close he was to Hemman that day. Um, just play my game, go out there and do my thing, I guess. Uh, can you explain a bit why you think the stars match up quite well? Yeah, I, I, well, I kind of, what I like most about my game is I'd say I'm quite, I quite like playing on the floor, um, quite consistent. Um, I, hope, I hope when I play well, I'm quite steady. Um, and Lewis is, you know, big target hitter, carves it around. Um, should be good to watch because we kind of play real tennis differently um, and typically I tend to quite enjoy playing players of that kind of game style um, you know unlike when I played like Rob Shankman the other day and I was just like <laughs> he's just doing my own game a bit better than me. What's it like having the, the biggest one of the year being at your home having a court you know quite well? Yeah it's great I'm really I'm so glad but Queens is where I learned to play because it's just this is Everyone kind of thinks Queens is a bit funny sometimes, but it's just kind of what I know. Um, like every other court, I kind of compare to Queens as like my baseline. So, so yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully I don't misread that much. Um, it's where I feel most comfortable. Um, maybe I'll get some home support. Uh, unfortunately, didn't make it through the doubles qualifying yesterday. Can you talk a bit about how that match went for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I would have liked to have gone through, but actually I was really happy with how we played. Um, I partnered Nick James, who had never played doubles before. He had never played a... I mean, he's a phenomenal records player, but he's never played a British Open real tennis before. Probably the highest standard he's been on court with um, ever. So for a completely fresh partnership to kind of win our first round against Ned Batston and Ben Yorston, who had played together a lot, and then push Henry Hemman and Claire Fay quite far. We lost 6-4 in the third and they're like, you know, Claire's a world champion, Henry's full time. They're, they're a, a fairly long term doubles partnership and we, you know, we pushed them quite far. So like, I think that's really good that I hadn't hoped for any better than that, to be honest. Uh, so what are your plans for the rest of the season? What, what events are you going um, through? Kind of well, I mean, I'm currently kind of just floating around doing it, doing it all, to be honest. I won't go to Australia, but, um, but I'm, I kind of just want to give myself a year out to just see like how far I can take it. I'm training as much as I can, going about things like in the most professional way I can, playing all the events. Um, so yeah, I'm more or less doing it all the Tampa tours, hopefully going to play the US Open, um, just see how it goes really. And then I can look back up at the end of the year and be like, I took this year out to see how good I could get. Did I enjoy all the training and the tournaments? And did it even pay off? Did I get any better? And then like, make some more decisions going forward. But I'm a couple months in now and it's been great. I've improved a lot. I'm, I'm loving real tennis. Um, I find like the more you put in, the more you get out. So, um, so yeah, it's going really well. Uh, and is there any rackets tournaments on the agenda as well? Or is there, um, there are more, there are more real tennis tournaments. Um, and sometimes like, as of right now, there was a clash with the amateur rackets and Real Tennis British Open. 
Um, and in areas like that, I probably tend to opt for the real tennis tournaments. Um, but I'm hoping to play, I would love to play the Western Open and US Open um, in Chicago and Boston. Um, under 24's rackets is coming up, British Open, doubles and singles, I'll be there hopefully. Um, I really enjoyed and had some good results in Manchester a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I'm trying to do it all. I'm going to see how long I can manage both of them for. I find rackets is a little bit more instinctive, whereas real tennis, I kind of need to, before a match, like get out there and groove my strokes a bit more. Um, so it may be that I really focus on the real tennis and then in the lead up to a rackets tournament, get on court a bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to manage them both. All right, Bernie Bellett, thank you very much. Thanks.